Hi, this is Jenny Lesko here at Rental Magazine. We're here at the Rental Show 2017 in Orlando. This is Marie Engstrom, product manager at Genie, and she's going to tell us about Genie's new lift guard contact, contact alarm. Contact yes. alarm. Um, so, exactly what is this and, and how does it work? Sure, so this is our new uh, secondary guarding feature that we launched in January out of our North American facilities. And it's really to protect the user uh, against some job site hazards that they may be experiencing. So the way it works is we've got an activation cable here, a magnet on the end, tucks in these down here. The user comes in contact with the cable. Perhaps there's a overhead obstruction that they didn't realize was there. They come down, comes in contact with the cable. And as soon as that happens, machine motion is cut out immediately. So uh, you'll hear an audible alarm. There'll be a flashing beacon and all motion stops. And this gap here between the activation point and the platform control box is gonna allow the user room to move away in many cases from whatever the hazard is. So they're protected in many cases. So in other words, if something had blocked you in from behind, you wouldn't be smack up against something. Correct. There's this little window of wiggle room, if you will. Correct. Okay. In many cases, that, that gap there is gonna allow them to wiggle out of whatever situation they may be in. Okay. Um, so, in other words, when this this magnet here, when it's tripped, like when it falls mm -hmm. out, that's what's that's what's triggering the machine to stop. Right, and it's okay. an easy reset. After that activation happens, all the user has to do is put the magnet back in place, put their foot on the first switch, and continue operating. So if someone trips it inadvertently, it's a quick reset. They don't need to cycle the e-stop. They don't need to restart the machine or or anything like that. Okay. Now this is standard equipment on which models? Yes, it's standard equipment on the majority of our S and Z booms, with the exception of the Z33. Uh, it's not on our TZ booms yet, and it's not on our GR26J, but the rest of our S and Z booms, it is a standard no charge feature. Great, okay. Um, any plans for additional models in the future? I think so. Yeah, we're still working through what our plan may be. Um, we've continued to evolve this sort of thing over the years, and I expect that we'll we'll see more iterations in the coming years and months. Okay. How has the reception been? Do you see a big demand for it? Amazing. Okay. Just at the rental show so far this past day and a half, we've had many customers say, I need this, I'm required to have it, and this solution is, is a, great, um, a great option for them. Do they mean that they're required, um, their customers are requiring yes. for the job sites that mm -hmm. they're working on? Right, there's okay. certain um, national contractors that are requiring it, and, and small, uh, smaller as well, that say you must have this type of feature to work on this specific job site.